a United States Air Force Strategic Air Command weapon system. The SR-71, a highly sophisticated reconnaissance aircraft of the 60s, still ahead of the state of the art in the 70s, was first announced in February 1964. A global reconnaissance system that will sustain altitudes above 80,000 feet at speeds beyond 2,000 miles per hour is operationally ready. Deployment plans are put into effect. An overseas base is ready. Airlift is established. Equipment is transferred from a high lift to the big door on the awaiting aircraft. Personnel demand the overseas operation arrive and board for the trip. Troops soon nickname it the Pabu Airline. aircraft deployment is initiated. An early morning takeoff, the SR will race the sun across the Pacific. After a record-breaking flight from the continental United States, the first Blackbird arrived. The overseas activity immediately prepares the aircraft to support SAC's commitment. Additional operational aircraft arrive at 24-hour intervals. A well-planned procedure is set into motion. The commander and his staff are briefed. Mission control proceeds with details and plans. Rates are selected. Weather is studied. Data cards are assembled and rushed to the processing center. Data is fed into the computer. From the output, briefing charts, maps, and navigation tapes are generated. The data bank is searched for specific route information. Known threats are analyzed. Aircraft and sensor requirements to accomplish the mission are finalized. Composite information is assembled into a mission tape and verified. Job control through the maintenance officer receives the load sheet and schedule. Orders to the shop starts a beehive of activity. Maintenance personnel and sensor technicians, assisted by contractor specialists, prepare the aircraft and the payload. Fuel is loaded. Liquid oxygen and nitrogen put on board. Sensors uploaded and aircraft pre-flighted. Countdown. Begin. The crew is briefed by mission planning. Latest available weather details are studied. Physiological support personnel assist the crew into their suits. A short ride to the launch shelter. EFD's men in white make the man-to-machine hookup. SR was flown to Mildenhall Air Base, a short distance from Farnborough, in preparation for the flight. A second flight crew, Captain Adams and Major McCorrick, were on hand to make the return flight. Suit up of the crew by the Physiological Support Division was routine. 
Having been briefed on the mission and the weather en route, the pilot and RSO board for the flight to California. Following a spectacular takeoff, the aircraft made a perfect pass through the London Gate and headed west across the Atlantic and Greenland, slowing down to refuel over the Hudson Bay in Canada. The SR headed for Los Angeles. Decelerating and descending, the arrival was announced over the Los Angeles timing gate by the slight rumble of a sonic boom. A turn north brings the Blackbird home. Landing at Beale Air Force Base, the announcement was made. The setting of still another record for the Blackbird family. London to Los Angeles. A distance of 5,463 statute miles in three hours, 47 minutes, and 39 seconds. On hand to greet the crew was General Pitts, commander of the 15th Air Force, and Mr. Russ Daniel, Lockheed Vice President and SR-71 General Manager. The press and TV networks documented the event. The SR-71 designed a decade ago, with thousands of hours above Mach 3 to its credit, flying reconnaissance missions in the defense of the United States. The Blackbird has set a new record from New York to London and established a record, London to Los Angeles. A tradition for the Blackbird family. <laughs> 